Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. Um, this is going to be for Cancer. Uh, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the second half of your March from the 16th to the 31st. So we're going to take a look at your current for energies regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the reading with the possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. So uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Switch to roles if you want. Uh, this could be with a new person, old person, uh, current person, anybody, okay? So just apply this to your own unique situation, like I said. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people, so I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? So, cancer, let's get started. Over energies for cancer regarding love and the person that they are connecting with. What is surrounding cancer? What does cancer need to know? What can cancer expect regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for the second half of their July from the 16th to 31st? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for cancer. Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay, someone here is deaf. Maybe someone here is juggling. Someone here might be weighing the pros and the cons here. Uh, you know, someone here might be elbow deep in work. Someone here has a lot on their plate here. Seems like maybe someone here is uncertain whether they want something here or not. And the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Okay. Could be dealing with the Twin Flame here. It doesn't have to be. Um, could be that you guys just have a really, really strong soul tie together. Okay. Oh, we have the Devil here and the Magician. Ooh. Just be careful here. You don't want to see that. This could, there could be manipulation here. There could be energies, uh, you know, energies being manipulated here too. Capricorn energy and the um, magician here, Gemini Virgo. I mean, someone here could practice some sort of magic here or witchcraft or something like that, like dark magic. Seems like this is someone that's hurt you before. Okay, this X here put you in a third party situation. So there is some sort of juggling here. Hold on. No. Okay. Uh, two pentacles. We have judgment here. Sagittarius energy, the Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Cups here. Okay. Seems like whoever this is, this, this is an individual that's looking for a second chance. Yeah, this person can't stop thinking about you. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. Wow. But this is, um, this connection for somebody is a complete waste of time. Because this person has consistently lied to you over and over and over and over again. Perhaps breadcrumbed you too cancer yeah um so cancer you've completely moved on from this person this is this person's energies basically trying to come back in uh step back on uh, step back into your life you know i feel like this you might feel this person's energy with you all the time you know i, I do feel like this is a very oppressive and heavy dark energy yeah tell me about the uh, devil why is the devil here the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Magician, and a Ten of Cups. Someone here is definitely trying to manifest this back. And I feel like someone here might be using magic to do it. Yeah. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, they're using magic trying to bring this relationship back together, I feel. Because I feel like this person feels like things are unfinished. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with. What is this person's current true feelings and intentions towards Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the second half of their July from the 16th to the 31st. Nine of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay. 
We got the Page of Wands and the Eight of Swords. The Lovers and the Three of Cups. And the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is how this person views you as an Empress or a slash pre-Empress here. Yeah, I, I feel like this person can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, it seems like this person wants to approach you, come towards you, send you some sexy te text messages or something like that, trying to be, be flirty, you know, trying to be fun or something like that, kind of like, kind of play a cool sort of situation here. We have the lovers in the three of cups. Someone here is definitely looking to reunite with you here. The thing is, I feel like someone here is using magic to do that, using spells. You, know, you can't really force someone into loving you. That's the thing. Yeah, and I feel like someone here is trying to force that. Because, Cancer, I feel like you don't feel the same way about this person. At some point you did, but, you know, I feel like more so that you have love for this person where you want good things to happen for this individual, not to be with them. The, uh, the Nine of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. The Empress and the Four of Cups. So, you know, I feel like this offer, if this person did come towards you, you're going to reject it. You know, this could be an indication with the Wheel of Fortune is that you cleared out a lot of your karma. You cleared out a lot of the karma that you took on from this individual here, and you're just moving on. The uh, Page of Wands and the Page of Swords, Eight of Swords, and the Five of Wands here. I don't know. I, I feel like, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what this person is fighting for, you know? It's like this person is like fighting the air because you're not really present there, you know? <laughs> to like argue with this person, you know? Because I feel like you've completely moved on. Tell me about this uh, uh, lovers here. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. The Three of Cups and the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You know, here's the thing. I feel like this person's trying to win you back, but I feel like this person also has other people under his wing too, or her, okay? I don't know why I say his, uh, but, you know, maybe you're dealing with a he here. Um, so uh, maybe there are two he he's here. No, there's not. No, this is not a same-sex relationship. Uh, but it could be since I mentioned it. Yeah, it could be, okay? Um, yeah, it seems like someone here is definitely wanting to bring this back together. But I feel like you're protected. You're wise. Yeah. Um, you know what's going on. Perhaps you have, a, a, you know, very strong boundaries, energetic boundaries regarding this person here. Okay. Um, outcome and advice here for Cancer regarding their love situation for the second half of their July from the 16th to the 31st. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What else does Cancer need to know? King of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. The Moon, Cancer, Pisces. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. I mean, this could be you moving on to new love, moving on to new things in your life. Some of you guys could have physically moved away to get away from this person or something like that. You know, there could be an indication that you're facing your fears or that you're overcoming your fears, uh, overcoming letting this person go. Maybe it took you a long time. Maybe it took you several tries, okay? We have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Seven of Cups. I have an itch in my ear. Hold on. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person's going to continue to keep trying here, okay? Tell me about the King of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the World. Seems like you moved away from this person. We have someone here that's definitely seeing as wish, wish fulfillment. You know, that that page of a swords could be an indication that this person's gathering information if you did in fact move to see where you moved to. The moon, four of swords, king, uh, queen of pentacles, and the six of, yeah, you're definitely moving. You're definitely disengaging yourself from this individual here, okay? You know, you could be having nightmares of, of this person practicing magic and trying to win you back or something like that, okay? Uh, Ace of pentacles. Chariot, Cancer Energy, Seven of Cups, and the Page of Cups here. You're moving on from this person. You're moving on to new and better things. And I feel like this person is trying to offer you everything that you've ever dreamed of here. But I feel like it might be a bit too late. I feel like you're. I feel like over time, you know, just your feelings towards this person has changed. And it could be a situation that this person, like this connection, was built on lies and deception here. Okay. So Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. 
hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys uh, in the next one. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.